From June to October, Air Greenland operated a scheduled flight once a week. According to the airline, the route was successful and it is already renewed for a second year. Jacob Nitter Sorensen is the CEO of Air Greenland. He says the route opened up many opportunities for both regions. Definitely a market within the mineral sector, um, also for tourism, also for uh, uh, government officials, culture, music, uh, sports. And for this summer, it has been also people who we didn't really expect uh, to, to come here, who basically just saw, okay, now there's an opportunity, we'll just go visit uh, Greenland. The flight path made possible new initiatives, like Sheila Ulayu, who lives in Iqaluit. She has been invited to do a chemic making workshop in Nuuk. She says the direct flight brought opportunities to exchange traditional knowledge. They have their way of making their own pair of chemic that is different from how we do things. But I know it is reclaiming back what they almost lost. And reclaiming through that, reclaiming your identity as an Inu. The direct connection is the first in 10 years. More than 60% of this year's passengers were Canadian. The route opens again from April to October 2025. Carl Cardinal, CBC News, Iqaluit.